and there's your world champion, Kyle Snyder. He's our State Farm State of Success. Kyle Snyder, youngest ever American world champion five months ago, now only a sophomore for the Buckeyes here, wrestling heavyweight, and you'll never see him back down at 197, Jim. No, you said that today. He said that that's not going to be, he's weighing in at about 222. Of course, the, the freestyle uh, weight class is 211, and uh, he just looks great at this weight class, I and mean, he's going to grow into it over his, the life of his, uh, you know, there, but, you know, this young man was in Russia Don't last week, all right, Don't wrestling go. against some of the best in the world. Still Don't with the go. number one ranking in the world, Kyle Snyder. Shut Asked him if he had any jet lag, and he said, yeah, for the first couple of days, you know, they have him coming back, but uh, seemed to be in really good spirits, and he just, this guy just loves to compete. You know, you did. Some people had uh, were a little bit surprised they decided to come back. I'm not because I I just like the way I just you can just kind of sense it. Just as a guy that loves everything about the sport You're and, and about control. wrestling, still. and he wants still. to compete and have as many still. competitive still. opportunities out there on the mat. He's not going to sweat it too much if things don't go his way. And it's going to be uh, this is really tough duty for Johnson from Penn State. And, and uh, but you know. The fans here at Bryce Jordan are, you know, got an opportunity Central to see Center. their team win and clinch the duel. But this is also a treat here to see one of the best wrestlers in, in the world that has such a great future ahead of them in the sport going to do his magic too. He's all about competing. And the Big Ten Championships coming up in Iowa City, March 5th and 6th. The NCAA Championships at Madison Square Gardens, March 17th, 18th and 19th. He'll turn around, train, and look for the Olympic Trials April 9th and 10th back in Carver, Hawkeye. His own personal road to Rio. Kyle Snyder, a lot of wrestling in front of him, as a few other current wrestlers and a lot of recent past wrestlers from the Big Ten vying for Real, yeah, and we're, we're you know, the amount of uh, wrestlers that we're talking about maybe have, have an opportunity to do something special for them and showcase that. But it, it, it is a lot of guys. You take a look at you know, some of the guys that uh, you know, Reese Humphrey that made the world team. You got Tony Ramos who made the, the world team. Or Reese Humphrey from Ohio State. Jimmy Tony Kennedy Ohio from Illinois. Guys. Exactly. You've got Let's guys go. that are you know you got James Green, right from Nebraska. Of course, Jordan Burroughs. Yep. Number one ranked in his weight class I and uh, I always got to kind of get a kick out of it that the uh, Nebraska team was last year was 10th in the nation in NCAAs but they were ninth in the world with the team of, of uh, Burroughs and Green with their placing my time. Blood. one of those guys with the how any, well both of them without any eligibility but Snyder going back to his corner and in his first season for the Scarlet and Gray he went 30 and 4 he was the Big Ten NCAA runner-up at 197, and what a year that is for a, a true freshman, but then goes ahead well, then a few he, months later, wins a world championship. Yeah, well, then he, he beats out Jake Varner, the Olympic champion who trains here at the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club. You know, that's, not, that's not an insignificant pause, achievement. Joe. Jake Varner is a Bottom tough set, guy to score, and he was also at that Yarigan uh, tournament in Russia and finished second to the... Uh, they both got beat by the same, same guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that, that's you know, all the the uh, accusations that came out here about the uh, kind of the state-sponsored uh, you know, steroid use and all that stuff that, 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 that the Russians had, had, and it's kind of like one of those things that it's really one. One. unfortunate. Two. And you see Snyder's uh, toe still in bounds, so he gets to score four points out of bounds there. Not really out of bounds because as long as one, just any part of any, either wrestler's body is in bounds, you can score. You can even get a pin um, on outside the uh, the wrestling area. And so with the tilt, he gets uh, four point, um, four back points out in front, 16 to five. Snyder who last year in the semis beat the defending champion, Jaden uh, Cox from Missouri. And then Kyvin Gatson from Iowa State with the big fall in the finals for the Cyclone, the NCAA champion, Kyvin Gatson. Up against Snyder at a heavyweight now, and that's where we'll see him 
as long as he's in the scarlet and gray. And what the type of heavyweight he is going to be is going to be the guy that's constantly on the attack and continue to scramble well. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not a, a given, but like Kyle said in the in interview, that uh, he's looking forward to wrestling Wazdowski, you know, the, the returning national champion. There's your Cliff Keen outstanding wrestler. He got Ohio State out to a big start. Nathan Tomasello with a win over one of the best at 125. Nico Megalutis, what a great matchup. What a great match between two really great wrestlers. Nico Megalutis, three-time All-American. Nathan Tomasello, the NCAA champion. Nathan Tomasello, your Cliff Keen outstanding wrestler. You know, that match had me on the edge of my seat the whole time. I mean, there wasn't any... They're just such small room to get your offense off with those two great wrestlers. And so how do you, you know, when's it gonna happen? So Snyder working hard now for the tech ball. He's gonna go ahead and probably likely to give an escape or maybe work a quick uh, side tilt. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give the escape. So that makes it 12 point lead. And he's going to try to finish it here with a continued barrage of scoring. Kyle Snyder now up 22 to 8. And that's a 14 point lead. One more escape and a takedown for Kyle Snyder would finish it off with the tech fall. Five points on the board for Ohio State. But still, the win for the undefeated Nittany Lions from Penn State. They keep their number one ranking. Well, They'll represent the Big Ten in the NWCA National Duels on September 21st at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the BTN Live. Yeah, you can see why you can see why by Penn, why Penn State, you know, was in this meet could have gone another direction. If you see the bonus points that Snyder is able to go ahead and potentially put up here, that's five. This makes it 14. That makes it a 10-point swing. Well, if you get the turnaround at 133. You know, which was a close bout for quite some time. And then when you turn around at maybe at 74, you know, a close bout. But there's your world champion back on the mat. Going to be taking it all the way through the Big Ten and NCAA tournament. And it's your winner, Kyle yep. Snyder for Ohio State.